Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to retrieve data from PostgreSQL using Golang. Need a basic thing. Uh, first thing is to install PostgreSQL. If you come, we have already uh, shown you how to install this. You can come to this page. I'll be sharing that in my description. If you're a Windows user, you can click on Windows and download the installer. And similar way for Mac, uh, download the installer. It's pretty simple to install PostgreSQL. And if you and also I would recommend to download PG Admin since I'll be using PG Admin. So you can download the PG Admin latest version database by logging into your PG Admin and clicking on your this and create a database. Okay, you can give a name and save a database. I won't be creating a new database because I already have and I'll be using one existing database. Also, you can create the same thing by going to a PC shell and giving a password. This password is the password you when you are installing your PostgreSQL. Create database and give the name you want. Okay, since I won't be creating a new database, uh, I'll just you can type data or whatever name you want. Come. So this will create a new database. I'm not creating a new database. So I'll say I'm creating table. Create table. New data. New table. I'll have ID. Serial. Primary key. First name, text, last name, age, and so that created a table. Now uh, we can say insert into uh, our new table and save. First name, comma, last name, comma, each values. Raj, last name as, comma, uh, age as 55. Samuel. His age as 25. Let's give one more example. Sixty-seven. Oh, I didn't. Uh, okay. Okay, I forgot to give a comma there, so let's go back to that and give a comma. So we have inserted three records. Okay, so let's see where did I create my table. Let's ID, first name, last name, and age. To our main, now let's start coding. Package main, we can say variable. D. SQL dot D. variable you can say error okay now let's have our struct you can call this a sandbox struct you can call anything you want you're just calling it as a sandbox and first name string last name string and we had age integer. It's a function initialize constraint. We can see post press post press and uh, we can give a uh, password here so right now i'll just write it as password the rate localhost 
slash give the database name and we can say SSL with equals to disabled can say then db dot error equals to sql dot pin and we can say post egress comma so, database name that you have given here my database name is post egress if error not equals to note Say panic if error equals to db dot ping error not equals to no yeah, panic fmt dot Line. You can say now we are connected to post SQL details. As a main function, we can call the main function HTTP dot handle funk. We can say slash a data from record and yeah http dot listen and serve eight eighty data record. HTTP response writer response re re HTTP request and F, 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 F W create we are if r dot method equals to get and get we can say http not error HTTP dot status text full not full comma HTTP not allowed and say return or always comma error next to and db dot query can say we can select star from New table, so new table. If error, if error not equals to, now we can say HTTP dot error status text five hundred. HTTP internal server issue. Status as internal server. Correct. So, for look, we can say rows dot groups. S N B S equals to make. We can say sandbox for rows dot next. SNB equals to sandbox 
equals to rows dot scan. We can say and n dot id comma and name last name h okay and if error is not equal to top dot std p dot error http dot status text as what 500 Right. You can say for comma SNB equals to a range FMT dot print F then indeed. dot id comma smb dot first name smb dot last name comma smb dot h let's call this as a row Oops. see i also i haven't defined smbs so smbs equals to append smbs comma smb Okay, let's make this SNB, 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 SNB. So I have made the necessary changes, thus changes here, and I haven't called SNBS. Okay, now we can go ahead and run this. Uh, let me use my git bash. Go run me dot. No, I knew it. I didn't see. Okay, I have kept a dummy password, that's why it failed. Let me update the password again after updating the password. Allow. Let us go to the Google Post ATT and we have saved that data. There you go. Great. So, guys, this is how you can retrieve data from PostgreSQL using Golang. So, guys, if you like my video, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.